Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so I already have uh, five main examples on mathematical induction that are both rigorous and diverse. And so with uh, five additional examples that I plan on providing you, um, you'll have a total of 10 um, different examples on mathematical induction of uh, very different varieties. And so you should have your portfolio on induction complete. All right, so let's get on um, with this one. And what we have to do is prove this statement to be true because I go through uh, the induction steps very carefully in the main examples. Here, I'm gonna go through them quicker. Um, so to start, uh, we need to show a basic couple of cases. So let's show case one here. So case one is where we let n equal, um, n equal one. So when n is equal to one, we'll have, um, we'll have in this case, two times um, n, so two times one, um, factorial on the left side right and we need to show that this is greater or equal to greater or equal to 2 to the power of n which in this case again is 1 and then times n factorial so that's um, times 1 factorial right so 1 factorial um, squared right okay cool and this by the way means that n is a member of the positive integers nothing confusing okay yeah and this is you know trivial right we have two factorial on the left side is greater or equal to on the right side one factorial is one squared is still one and two to the first is two so you just have two on the right side and two factorial is two and clearly two is greater or equal to two so that's that and so with case one done uh, we can go on to case two but in the interest of time I'm going to uh, skip case two here and go to the old important inductive step where we assume the statement to be true, right? So uh, this step, which is uh, where we let um, case n equals k, where we let n equal k is what's called the inductive step. This is called the inductive step. Um, and in this old important step, we assume the given statement to be true. So here, uh, we assume true the fact that um, 2 times um, k um, factorial, we assume true 2 times k factorial um, being greater or equal to uh, 2 to the power of k, 2 to the power of k times, um, and um, I need to write k in green, k factorial. Um, squared. Notice that this here is basically the same as the statement. Instead of n, we have k. Yeah, and that's because n equals k in this step. And this is the old important inductive step where we assume the given statement to be true. And we make use of this inductive step in the next and final step. Um, so this is very, very important to have. Okay, cool, cool. So in the final step, right, we let n equal um, k plus 1. It is clear then that what we need to show, emphasis on need, um, what we need to show is this, which is we need to show that two times, n is k plus one here, so two times k plus one, um, we need to show that this here, two times k plus one factorial is greater or equal to um, two to the power of k plus one uh, 2 to the power of k plus 1 times, um, times, and it's going to be times k plus 1 factorial um, all squared. This is what we need to show. And emphasis on need because, well, we have to start with this and make use of our inductive step to get to this statement. Um, it's just nice to have the end in mind and so that's why i wrote it uh down uh we haven't gotten to this conclusion yet it's just the conclusion we want right so um let's have this set aside so that we have the end in mind yeah okay cool so the end we want to get to is what i have just written so i just shrank and tucked away here this is what we need but of course when n equals k plus one uh, we have to start with the left side and the left side is this guy where n is replaced with k plus 1. So 
if we start there, then when n is equal to k plus 1, I'd have to write uh, that um, I have this, which is I have 2 times um, 2 times uh, k plus 1 um, factorial. And what I need to do is I need to manipulate this and use a series of mathematical arguments to say that this here is greater or equal to this here, right? And so how do we get there? How do we say that this here is greater or equal to that there? Well, to start, we see that this here is the same as 2k uh, plus 2 factorial. And then next, we know that by the definition of the factorial, this here, 2k plus 2 factorial, is the same as 2k plus 2 times 2k plus 1 and then times 2k 2k factorial and yes I wanted to move in this direction which is basically starting with well starting with this guy we could write this and then next I knew that I needed to take this in the direction of this here because I need to make use of the inductive step meaning from here I somehow wanted this guy involved because he appears in the inductive step on the left side yeah okay so we need to make use of the inductive step in the final step so you have some clues of what the final step needs to look like it needs to move in a direction that makes use of the inductive step okay cool now this here is equal to this here which in turn is equal to this but this here which is equal to this and equal to that is greater or equal to greater or equal to um, 2k plus 2 times 2k plus 1 times 2 to the k times k factorial squared, right? So I was able to say this here, which is equal to this here, and in turn equal to that, and therefore this is equal to this, but this here, which is equal to this, is greater or equal to this here. And the reason I was able to say that is because if I compare this guy here to this guy here, I notice that this here is the same as that there, this here is the same as that there, but by the inductive step, this here is greater or equal to this here. And therefore, I can say that the product of these three things is greater or equal to product of these three things because um, the guys at the tail end are ordered in the way that this has them, right? Which is that this here is greater or equal to that there. Yeah? Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so uh, I don't like that greater or equal to sign, so let's fix that. But otherwise, um, we know that ultimately what we want to say is this here is greater or equal to that there. So basically, we need to keep working with this until we get something like that. Well, the first thing we can fix is this k here. It needs to be a k plus 1, and that's an easy fix. We see that this here, this very last thing that I wrote, is equal to 2 times k plus 1 uh, times 2k plus 1 times 2 to the k, and then k factorial all squared. Well, um, I rewrote everything from here down here except... Uh, in this part, I factored out a 2, right? And the way, um, the reason I wanted to do that is I wanted to take this and this and lump them together and write a 2 to the power of k plus 1, which is where I need to go. And that's why it's nice to have the end in mind, because that's how I got the clue that I should take out a 2 from here, uh, knowing the end, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So then what I'm saying is instead of this here, we could have written we could have written uh, a 2 to the power of um, k plus 1. Um, and then otherwise, uh, I need to bring back everything from the last thing I wrote. I had written before I deleted it, which was um, a k plus 1, right? And then a 2k plus 1. And then, of course, um, k factorial all squared at the end. Okay, cool, cool, cool. k factorial all squared. Now we compare this to where we want to go. What we have left to do is change this k 
k factorial squared into k plus 1 factorial squared. Or well, I know how we could do that. We can say that this very last guy we have written is strictly greater than 2 to the power of 2 to the power of k plus 1 and then times um, k plus 1 times um, times k factorial um, and then times k plus 1 um, times k factorial. Uh, why was I able to write that greater than a sign? Well, because this k factorial here and k factorial here account for that k factorial all squared. So these parts are the same, right? These two guys combine to that. Fine. And um, clearly, this guy is the same as that. And this guy here is the same as that. But uh, the only difference, which is this and this, has it so that this guy is bigger than that, right? Always, right? Um, and therefore, and therefore, I was able to write that greater than sign. And I split the k factorial squared into a k factorial times k factorial because now that we've got two k plus ones, these guys together make k plus one factorial. And so do these two guys. And um, I knew to move in this direction, which is to change this 2k plus 1 into a k plus 1 because, again, I had the end in mind. I knew where I wanted to go, right? Okay, cool, cool. So um, then to conclude, we can say that this very last thing I wrote is the same as 2 to the um, power of, ah, that's supposed to be in green, 2 to the power of um, k plus 1. And then I have um, times... Um, k plus 1 factorial. Ah, and the factorial is supposed to be what? Man, I'm bad at color coding. That's why I don't love color coding. Okay. All right. There we are. And um, that's the desired result, which is that this is greater or equal to this. And yes, it's greater or equal to because, well, already this is greater or equal to that there. And this in turn through the series of moves is greater than this. And so this here is actually greater than this, but when one thing is greater than another thing, you could always replace the greater than sign with a greater or equal to and no harm, right? Okay, so therefore this here is greater or equal to that, yeah? All right, cool, all right. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and um, there'll be at least a couple of additional examples that I'll make right away and then like two more, so um, we'll have five additional examples. All right, keep watching, take care.